think you're gonna hear music as majestic as this while you wait for your favorite artist to drop? I don't think so. A good musical <laughs> could take you a long way, but a bad one makes you wanna get off at the first stop. And there ain't no better example than the new Mean Girls movie, bro. I don't even know why. That, what, exactly? Why the f did y'all make Mean Girls a musical, bro? All right, we got some new to generosity, the goatness of music. He dropped this right in the middle of uh some rap beef and stuff like that. So pretty sure you're gonna discuss it. Let's let's talk about it. When you hear this, what would you describe it as? Angelic, heavenly, she got a voice on beautiful, her. just good music. And now when I put on Uncle Aaron's beats from PP Spider Man, what goes through your head? Terrible. Nails on a chalkboard. Ah! A fork scraping a plate. Rent. Horrible man created Rent. atrocities <laughs> come to mind when hearing this godforsaken beat. No wonder why he went to crime. Cause no bills would ever be paid if this was his profession. I mean, it's just bad music. Yep. Music is a funky rhythmic set of beeps and boops and pss and pops and sometimes and when these beeps and boops and bops and bangs synchronize together in a symphony or a catchy tune it sparks a joy to my eardrums when listening to these pieces of skillfulness genius art sometimes the music can be so good that when it gets interrupted by anything you can't help but feel anger like your wife kissing you in front of Willem Dafoe bitch get off me some hey <laughs> He not wrong though. Somebody interrupt a good banger. That shit be pissing me off. Low key. Now I gotta start the whole shit. I need my whole vibe back. You killed my vibe. I gotta restart this whole song and don't interrupt me this time. Hi key. Sometimes music can feel so right in your ears, like it's pouring cold water directly into the eardrum. Other times, good music could spark an emotion that could only be expressed with crying. And other times, good music could rethink the way you view life in a euphoric sense. All of those interpretations come into this. I cannot write think pieces. But you get it. Good music sounds good. It makes us go, ooh. Even though music is subjective, we all know it can recognize a good song when we hear it. Everybody knows Free Bird Bops, Party Anthem Rocks, I Millie Rock, or any black. All that? universally beloved songs among all cultures. Any sane person can recognize a goat when they hear them. We can that? recognize good music just as much as we can recognize bad music. Bad music and Oh, he on timing. Oh, he on timing. He said Aubrey and Mike Lee let. Oh man, he on timing. I'm talking your shit then, Dejan. Let me see. Well, let me see. Let me let me hear your thoughts. Recognize bad music. Bad music in most Cut. cases is a plague to the human mind and ears, Cut. like eating the butt of a woman who didn't wipe. In most Cut. cases, it's just straight bad. But sometimes it could come in all types of delicacies. Okay, what the hell do I mean by that? I just mean music is one of the most subjective genres that exists. It isn't like movies or TV shows where at least some people there had to have at least some level of talent and artistry to make a decent product. Nah, anybody with a phone and a mic could make a- Hey, where that nigga at? Send me, I think, automatic. Uh, uh, multiply, they call it mathematics. You know what I'm saying? He cooked with that little 66 second clip, bro. Level of talent and artistry to make a decent product. Nah, anybody with a phone and a mic could make a song of them talking on beat to a metronome instrumental. And I can guarantee you there's still a fan base out there for them. Cause even a low effort or sloppily composed song can still sound better or at least have infinite more replay value than a master at their craft releasing something. I was going to make this video about good music versus bad music, displaying some songs and artists I like and hate. Like Taylor Swift, good, Weezer, bad. You know, just spinning facts. But, but that's just boring so instead you're gonna hear a barely educated man raving about the versatility of good music and quote-unquote trash music when thinking of good music what comes to mind michael jackson bob dylan ancient mesopotamian music 
Nah, for me, nah, it's right. definitely the vibes. Okay. That's what's important. How a song makes me feel. feel. You see, that's music that's ain't just for entertainment. It's whatever you in the mood to experience I at that lie. moment. When, when you can listen to a song and, and it like makes you, and it brings you back to a certain time, makes you feel a type of way, gives you energy, makes you sad, like it just does something. It makes you feel something. That's good music, man. Except for anger, like this is this is trash. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm in the mood of breaking, I want to listen to metal or heavy bass boosted rap to enhance my experience of me destroying my house. If I'm in the mood to float, I'm going to put on Radiohead or anything that's considered shoegaze. That combined with a gas station cart will make you feel like you're experiencing heaven. For real. And if I'm in the mood to sleep, I'd put any new little baby song to experience true slumber. That's how wow. music is. The experience <laughs> is a majority of my enjoyment. When I have a bad time with it, that's not good. Like if your dad catches you listening to something you think is peak, but the rest of the world might not vibe with it, you're gonna remember that time the next time you listen, and the time after that, ruining the song for you for all of eternity. Cause you always have that memory of, oh, 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 oh my dad heard that. Be careful if you're shuffling your like songs on Ox too. Imagine you and your gang in the car bumping the good shit. Then your playlist started playing your Steven Universe songs you forgot you added back in high school. And they're all like, the hell is this you be listening to, bro? <laughs> How'd you know we love this song? Oh my God, it's my it favorite. So much. It's I my favorite. It. I it's so it. I'm into fat bitches. Imagine that no. happens. Me and the gang are in a polyamorous relationship now for life. That's just the way it has to be. Also, mentioning Steven Universe made me remember how music greatly affects a TV show and movie experience. It like certain music can and, and uh, invoke certain emotions into like like. Think about it. A lot of movies would be emotionless without the background music. Background music is actually very fucking important. Like, how would I know this is a beautiful scene without that background music, you feel me? When watching a movie, the music can literally suck you into the world of the Yo, film. It can okay. make you feel like you travel in the world of the Lord of the Rings, or make you feel like a kid again when watching Andy playing with Woody and Bugs. A film giving you an emotion like that is phenomenal, right. but it doesn't always have to be that. Sometimes a montage could really up a movie's quality with the right song choice. It could make a scene of some nerd making his spider <laughs> cosplay costume more intriguing, or gut punch you like Up's first five minutes. Like this scene without its iconic... Up's first five minutes. Up's first five minutes is the most traumatic five minutes of any fucking kids movie ever. Damn it. Like music, it would not hit the same. That nigga ain't gonna be no sound. Whoa. True, but in my opinion, they could have switched out the music with another song, like, like Seven Years by Lucas Graham. In, in fact, if they switched the music with that instead, I think the scene would have been more powerful. Don't lie, you agree with me. It's even better when both the soundtrack and movie itself work together as one unit. Like in Oppenheimer, everybody and their nana has seen it already. So we all know how amazing the soundtrack is. Each song blending in with every scene, making every event in this movie feel more epic than it actually is. Even when it's just him teaching it in the classroom. Ludwig Granola did an amazing job with the music of the film. And since the music is blaring the entire movie, it never takes you out of the experience. And musicals. Some people don't mess with musicals, but I mess with a good musical. Some people don't like them because they think, ew, why are they singing and dancing in public out of nowhere? I, I don't mind a good musical, but like, I don't think like a lot of the stuff that are musicals shouldn't be musicals. Like, this new upcoming Joker should not be no fucking musical. There's no reason it should be. Hey, do you know 44% of y'all aren't subscribed? Go ahead and hit that button. And also go check out my gaming channel where I upload things like Spider-Man gameplay, Fortnite, Modern Warfare, older games, newer games, anything I can get my hands on, I'll play it. Go check it out. And yeah, enjoy the rest of the video, man. Not one of y'all have ever felt whimsical. Not one of y'all have seen a small glimpse of the beauty that life has to offer. So extravagant. 
that it made you want to sing? It don't even gotta be the beauty of life. Eating a good burger would provoke me to sing and dance on the spot. Musicals are not unrealistic. You guys are just pixies. You see no magical color in anything. Musicals are fucking fire. See, hairspray as a musical, it fucking worked. It made sense. It made sense. You know what I'm saying? That's why Hairspray was a great movie to me. But just not everything needs to, like, certain shit don't need to be a musical, bro. And like La La Land and The Lion King aren't peak, especially Renaissance Disney musicals. Disney were dropping buckets like they were the 97 Bulls back then. Wanted. A movie could take you so far with just this music alone. Like, have y'all seen Grease? The story's Alex. almost non-existent. The main leads fall in love, then they sing, then they race, then they sing, then they go to heaven, then they sing. Like, the story doesn't matter too much. Plus, these are the oldest high schoolers I've ever seen in my life. This nigga 40. But it don't matter, cause the songs were so peak. And I don't mean that loosely. Some of the best songs you can hear in TV and movies are in this. Summer Nights. You know what I know what? Hopelessly devoted. The fact these are all in the same movie blows me away and continues blowing me. You think you're gonna hear music as majestic as this while you wait for your favorite artist to drop? I don't think so. A good musical <laughs> can take you a long way, but a bad one makes you wanna get off at the first stop. And there ain't no better example than the new Mean Girls movie, bro. I don't even know why. That, what, exactly. Why the fuck did y'all make Mean Girls a musical, bro? And that's what I mean, like, taking something that's already its own thing, that shit's supposed to be a comedy. It's supposed to be funny, you know? You turn that hoe, it can be still funny, but why the fuck would you turn... You're recreating something and turning it into a musical? Fuck! I watched it. I've heard everyone say it was bad. I watched the trailer for myself, thought it looked bad. I heard one Fentanyl Pam song, thought it sounded bad. Saw the new Karen and Regina, thought they looked... Bad. Oh, wait, I think I found out why I watched the movie. I'm gonna eat it. Ah! Plus, I'm a huge fan of the original. Literally, it's top oh, yeah. 20 movies ever. So when I That's heard they were gonna make a remake... And she doesn't even go here. That is a great fucking movie. Ruin. And it's gonna be a musical? I instantly thought, well, this shit about to suck. And it did. The music was terrible. Every time this girl opened her mouth and hit a note, I hated it. Every time the students sang, I hated it. This song made me want to vaporize whoever was responsible of putting it in this booth. Not one song is good or decent, none. Like, I don't, almost every time they break into song and dance, it looks and sounds so awkward. The lyrics are bad. Like, y'all wanted to make this a musical and not know how to make a musical? Why, why Why did you guys make this? Why, why are you guys like this? Even outside the music, the movie, farts on the originals story, characters and comedy there's no redeeming qualities it's just <laughs> shit. okay that's not all true the new damien carried this film hard i'll give him that i'd even argue he did better than the original like he's genuinely the only humorous part in this movie but even he couldn't save it because yeah. every time katie's actress is on screen it feels like she's trying to trap me inside you a domain expansion <laughs> bad movie bad musical and bad music this movie makes me fear when characters start singing in movies I don't want to fear music in movies. I don't want to oh talk about God. this no more. It hurts. And for TV shows, let me gush over this quickly. But I love when non-musically focused shows just pull out with the- No, now listen, listen. I can enjoy like a random musical. You know which one had the worst musical and I really stand on? Fucking Grey's Anatomy. That singing episode of Grey's Anatomy actually pissed me off. Like- Fucking South Park had their musical shit. It was still a good movie. How right? Kyle's mom is peak. There was a musical episode. Yes. Yes, there was, and it was terrible. The biggest banger you've ever heard in your life. SpongeBob and Amazing World of Gumball do this all the time. Whenever a SpongeBob Christmas special is made, right. just believe the SpongeBob writers will cook a jingle like no other. Oh, Gary Come Home is sadder than any yeah, Mitski yeah, song. Black and Rip Pants, do I need to continue? Even just the background music is iconic. And I don't just mean the background Best music of them just I've talking had, and so stuff. I mean the music cues of when they close up on some ugly ass mug. That's the best. And Gumball has less songs, but it makes each one count. I don't know who tells the voice actors of Gumball and Darren That's to perform it? like they are young and still thriving, mindless behavior. Yeah. But whoever you are, thank you. I don't even need to praise them. When you yourself hear a vocal like this, 
you'd want to text her back too. Hold on. Anyway, video games. There's music in them sometimes. Music in video fuck? games is more important to me than the video game itself what being able hell? to work. That's how serious this is, bro. I love the GTA 5 radio so much. GTA 5 radio is peak. Has some hits on that bitch. GTA 5 radio is peak. Uh, driving at night in game whilst listening to West Coast classics is bad. Hey, even fucking shout out Saints Row 2. When a nigga was singing Neo, while you driving around shooting down a helicopter, so sick of love. You know what I'm saying? Some of the games can do it greatly. Better than therapy. Undertale's soundtrack always makes me want to ascend. And the Jet Set Radio soundtrack? I, I did not know life could be so good. But Nintendo music? Never, Mario. I'm a big Pokemon fan, and the soundtracks for each place you enter is marvelous. The friendly neighborhood vibes of Litter Town. The Poke Center theme feeling like a big old hug from Nurse Joy herself. And Lake from Pokemon Diamond. I see. It's not even just their games. The menu music on their console apps goes hard. The yeah. music on Me Plaza just made me want to grind harder on the game whenever I played it on my 3DS. This goofy ass song that's in every YouTube video in existence and the Wii startup music. Mm -hmm. It's like Nintendo were summoning the dark evil spirit of John Lennon to make this music so fire. I love Nintendo so much. I love it, but they don't love me. Nintendo music is amazing. But nothing, nothing Talk to me. compares to Sonic music. I don't even know where to start or end in this conversation. Okay. Like Sonic was such a big part of my childhood and the music in all the games, even in the anime. It's just, I, I don't even know how to describe it. Y'all seen WrestleMania night two this year? That's how each and every Sonic song feels to me. Okay. That's how good I think it is. Like Sonic in general could be a video on its own. But I'm just gonna say this. In This World is the best video game song of all time. No debate. It's too good. It's just too good. I see. Sleeping, you fat no. fuck. Music is a wait. I I've said the word music too much. I I'm gonna use a different word. Uh, burritos. Burritos is delicious. Ah. Sometimes okay, even the quote unquote <laughs> bad ones. Have y'all seen the playlist for terrible songs on YouTube? This is some of the greatest stuff I've heard. Treat her right. Treat her right. Treat her right. Okay. Mother. Mr. T. No I've even asked my Twitter <coughs> uh, for some trash. And even they were giving me beat. You might think you might like me, but I promise that you won't. I've designed this web of lies. I do things I say I don't. Not to say there's not a lot of bad music out there. Believe me, there is. Any rapper that rap fast and he just say nothing like rap. Chat. 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 I know him. Back when I used to react to music, I reacted to his shit a couple times. Rap slow and say nothing. Just cause you yapping like Alvin and the Chipmunks over there don't mean I'm impressed. Turn it off! I'm about to expose myself right now, but I don't care. I'm not gonna lie about it no more and pretend these songs and musicians are bad. But a hundred gecks, bro, I'm tired of pretending to hate them, bro. Like, yeah, I, I still don't like Money Machine. And it's also not like I'm in love with every single song they put out, but when they hit, they really hit. Why is Hollywood Baby one of the hardest songs I've heard this year? Dumbest Girl Alive is hard too. And I also love that uh, Doritos, Cheetos, Libido song. I, I really like that. Th their new I album in general, kind of, it kind of smacks. It's a fun listen. They still hit or miss for me though. D don't clown me too much. Blade? No, 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 I'm, I'm not taking this Blade disrespect. I refuse! I had a short Blade phase back in freshman year. Red Light and working on Dying were consistently on my rotation. This dude was basically my juice world. And I do admit his music is for sad middle schoolers that are depressed because their mom said no to the friend sleepover. And his new music ain't nothing to write home about either. 
But to little old me back in freshman year, you have no idea how good Blade was to me. Plus, I don't want to tolerate any disrespect from anybody named Pokemon333. Your days are numbered. Jay-Z, K-pop, the Roblox song. Y'all don't know good music. Jay-Z is crazy. Yeah, yo. These new niggas really disrespecting Jay-Z, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Think if it smacked you with a fish. AJR? Oh, okay, they are, they are pretty bad. You see, we all got different definitions of bad. And since that is the case, is there really such thing as bad music? Yeah, you're right. Burritos are a magnificent form of art, bringing a multitude of different sounds and genres that I just wanted a fanboy over. If you know how to play an instrument, love it. If you don't know, learn it. And if you don't like music, get out. And that's kind of all I have to say. Music is a beautiful thing. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And in conclusion. I did. Good morning, Albuquerque. You are right now listening to 99.9 .9 Death Metal Radio. Playing only the deadliest death metal you've ever heard. Your parents hate us, your neighbors hate hearing us, and your wife left you. Playing heavy death metal all day, 24 7. 365 until you drunk drive. What you calling for? Hi, I ran over my grandma with a forklift just so I can be on Death Metal Radio! Awesome. 99.9, .9, where the death never ends. Oh, hell no. This thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, shout out to Generosity, man. He actually cooked with this video, bro. Very, very W take, you know what I'm saying? Love music. Let me some music, man. Merzik. Let me some Merzik.